Hallelujah. You may be seated. Be seated. Our time is limited. I'm calculating the time. Be seated. This 14 days, you don't want to miss one night. Amen. You don't want to miss a night. You cannot afford to miss just a night because God is doing something. You want to flow with the flow and shift with the shift. You want a supernatural visitation. Am I talking to somebody here? You didn't come for Bible studies. You came to engage heaven. You came to engage the power of God. Take your Bible. I want to teach. Amen. Take your Bible. Those of you here, you can join in here quickly. Quickly. I want you to be released in your spirit. Amen. Take your Bible. Take your Bible quickly. Quickly. Bible says, Behold, dwell not on the things of the past, for I am doing a new thing. I didn't hear an amen. You are very, very calm this evening. I want you to be aggressive in the spirit because the witches are not tired. The demons pursuing your life are not tired. The forces that are hindering you and hindering the city and hindering the church, they are not tired. Now hear this. We need to understand that it's not enough to say you're a Christian. There is an ongoing war. There is an ongoing warfare. So you need to engage warfare. Am I talking to somebody here? There is an ongoing battle. My sister, if you understand what is happening in the realms of the spirit, you will see some things in your life. Praise the Lord. Go with me to the book of First Thessalonians chapter number 5 from the verse number 16. The book of First Thessalonians chapter number 5. I want to be very brief. Amen. Somebody shout amen. You want to give me not a British kind of amen. Somebody shout a better amen. Uh, you don't want to kill the atmosphere for the anointing. Someone say amen. Yeah. yeah. I, I love Britain, but I hate the British spirit. Love our land. I love our city. I love our people, but I don't love the spirituality of the land. And so when it comes to the anointing, you want to be as vibrant as something else. Amen. And, and, and in the city of faith, you cannot have a British spirit. It's not possible. In this house, you need the lion spirit. Am I talking to somebody here? You need to tear and devour the devourer. Anybody and anything that has been programmed to destroy you, you will destroy them before they attack you. Your children shall be free from every bondage of the enemy. Come on, shout yes. This year you will not bury anybody. Oh, I didn't get an amen. I said this year you will not bury anybody. Amen. You will not lose any blessing. Amen. You will not lose any good thing amen. this year. Verse number 16. First Thessalonians. The verse number 16. The scripture says, Rejoice evermore. So that means that is the will of God that there will be ever more rejoicing in your life. One of the most shortest scriptures in the Bible. He said, Rejoice evermore. The other version says that rejoice forever. May pain be far from your life. Hallelujah. And then verse 17, he said, pray without season. I love that one. Pray without season. In an everything, give thanks. In everything. Why? In everything you will find the will of God. So he says that if you can rejoice, that's the first command. He said rejoice. That means that a believer who wants to stay victorious, you must have the spirit of joy. You must have an exciting spirit. Amen and amen. Because you know that you are an overcomer. The Bible said, little children, do not be troubled. For greater is he that is in you than he that is of the world. I don't know where you are. I don't know what the enemy has done. But I can guarantee you to rejoice because there is something greater that God is about to shift in your life. Am I talking to somebody here? The enemy thought he got you, but God says that rejoice. 
and forevermore. I pray for somebody here tonight. The rest of the year, you will not see sorrow. Everything your hand finds to do, it shall excel. You will break through on every side. My God, I feel like preaching to spiritual people. I came here to prophesy into the atmosphere and to prophesy into somebody's life that the remaining days of 2019 get ready to rejoice get ready to celebrate they wish you down and they're looking for your downfall they are digging your grave but I came to declare rejoice forevermore because something good is about to happen something good is about to happen in your life am I talking to somebody they wish your downfall the other day I had the word of the Lord that said rejoice not over me oh my enemy for when I fall I shall rise again there is somebody here your finances will rise again your anointing will rise again your favor will rise again there is somebody here I came to tell you God said I'm doing a new thing daughter get ready don't be discouraged and don't be down because there is a shifting am I talking to somebody here my bible says when my sister said there is a cast down you will say there is a lifting up may you be lifted spiritually may you be lifted financially may you be lifted emotionally may you be lifted in every area of your life a divine shift a divine lifting a divine oh my god i see you moving forward i see you crossing over i see you overcoming every hindrance and limitation this year you will end the year well i said you will end the year well as we enter the ninth month whatever you're pregnant with you will deliver you will deliver a miracle you will deliver your marriage you will deliver your favor somebody shout i receive it shout i receive it is a rejoice forevermore not sometimes now why is God Almighty who knows the up and downs of life giving a command that command is not a respecter of sorrowful moments that command does not factor defeat it doesn't factor disappointment he said rejoice forevermore so even in disappointment God has a plan am I talking to somebody here even when you are cast down when the devil thought is over when the witches are fighting your marriage and they are doing everything for you to give up God said rejoice because eyes have not seen ears have not heard neither has it entered into the heart of men there is somebody you've been receiving prophecy you've been receiving a word but now I come to declare a manifestation of every spoken word over your life am I talking to somebody here whatever word you have received there is going to be a manifestation get ready there will be a manifestation every time there is a visitation there is manifestation when you receive a visitation I see the Holy Ghost coming upon somebody. The Bible says, Thou anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. City of faith, get ready. There is an overflow. There is an anointing that God has released upon your head. Anointing of favor. Anointing of glory. Anointing of speed. Anointing of acceleration. I see you arriving at your destination. I I see you arriving. Am I talking to somebody? This year you shall arrive. I said this year you shall arrive. Am I talking to somebody here? I prophesy on your life. I prophesy on that dying marriage, that dying relationship. You shall arrive at your destination. Receive the power at the basanda. Somebody shall power. Sit down. And God said, Rejoice. Tell somebody, Rejoice. So rejoice. He said, Forevermore, rejoice. Forever. Lord, come 
still see some things are down in my life. He said, rejoice. Because eyes have not seen what I'm about to do. It's only God that in the midst of your valley, he sees a mountain. I just spoke to somebody here. It's only God who sees what nobody else sees. Who knows what nobody else knows. Nobody knows why, but God knows it. The other day, the disciples walked to him and they said, Master, what sin has this guy committed? Is it his father's sin or his mother's sin? What is the reason for his blindness? And God said, you got it wrong. It's not as you think. Praise the Lord. God said, it's not as you think. My glory is behind his blindness. Some of you are going through certain things that the glory of God is behind it. You didn't catch what I said. I said some of you are going through certain things that the glory of the Lord is behind it. There are some people God needed to cut off your life. Not because you did wrong, but because they can't benefit where you're going. He said, I know the plans that I have for you. They are plans to take you to an expected end. If you don't know, I can't let you know that your end is programmed. Kapatusias. Before you were born, I knew you. And I had ordained you. Everything you need for your next level, may heaven release it. I want you to get into a place where this fasting and prayer is not going to be religious to you. It's going to be an encounter for you. Am I talking to somebody here? Lord, I am tired of going to church without results. I am tired of hearing a word without manifestation. I need a transformation. I need, I need a shift in my life. I need an encounter. I want divine intervention. Am I talking to somebody here? Wherever your destiny helpers will be, by the power of God we command your spirit to connect to your path the steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord there is power in prayer when men pray God does the extraordinary when men pray he moves mountains when men pray are you hearing me somebody it may be sickness it may be disease it may be the predictions of men but in prayer whatever is wrong may it be made right by the power and the anointing of the living God I curse every disease I curse every sickness I curse the root of the enemy by the authority of God I declare somebody your womb will open there is somebody here your destiny will respond whatever you need for the next level I release it upon you right now Oh my God, I feel like prophesying to somebody in this prophetic atmosphere. Your promotion is coming. Your visitation is coming. Your miracle is coming. Your healing is coming. Somebody shout, I receive it. Somebody shout, I receive it. somebody rejoice. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Tell somebody rejoice. Your words are prophecies. Tell somebody rejoice. So rejoice forevermore. And then he said, pray without ceasing. That means that let there be no limits to your prayer. Pray in the morning, pray in the afternoon, pray in the evening, and pray in the night. My people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. I, the Lord, will hear them and I will heal their land. You are on a land that is sick. God said, if you will pray, I will heal your land. Ladies and gentlemen, your land is not Great Britain. Your land is your destiny. Am I talking to somebody here? He said, if my people that are called will humble and pray, I will hear them from the heavens. And when I hear their voice, I will heal their land. The other day, the men of the city said unto the prophet, they said, the city is built.
beautiful, but the water is bitter. Some of you are hearing me. You got a great plan, a great idea. You got a great future, but there is bitterness in your life. There is disappointment in your life. There is delay on the journey, but God said, if you will pray, if you will not be lazy and you will pray, if you will bind the force of evil, if you will deal with the witch in your family, if you will deal with the principality of your mother's house, I, the Lord, I shall hear you from the heaven, for if my people that are called, I came to declare today, no devil can destroy you, no principality can fight you, I see the move of the Holy Ghost on your life, your anointing will not be dry, the power of God will not be neutralized, I see the hand of God, there is a calling upon you, there is a ministry upon you, there is a great feature on your life, the devil is a liar, I said the devil is a liar, destiny killers, they cannot kill your destiny, destroyers from your mother's house, every jealous eye, every envy spirit around your life, as the Lord liveth, let the sword of the Lord pursue you, you shall be liberated, you shall be free, you will be delivered, am I talking to somebody here, it's time for a miracle, it's time for a breakthrough, it's time for favor, it's time for the hand of God, who am I talking to, somebody shout fire, come on shout fire, as you declare fire, may fire appear in your house, as you declare fire, may fire appear, wherever your name will be, wherever your picture will be, may there be fire, somebody shout fire, somebody shout fire, a pray. Tell somebody pray. The pray without season. That prayer is not a religious prayer. That prayer is not a Sunday, Sunday prayer. That prayer is when the saints are able to get to the wailing wall and hold on to the horns of the altar and say, Lord, I need a shift in my life. I cannot, I, I cannot endure anymore. I cannot go through the affliction anymore. I need a shift. My son's destiny, my marital destiny. I need a breakthrough in my life. I need divine intervention. When the believer pray, God have an assignment unto God hears your voice, the earth will delay your move, but I came to declare over somebody, if your voice will go up, angels will attend to you, are you hearing me somebody, if your voice will go up, David said early in the morning will I cry unto you it's time to cry out it's time to travel, it's time to pray, it's time to tell the enemy, no more am I talking to somebody here come on sound fire it's a prayer. You've got five minutes to go. It's a prayer without season. In other words, don't let there be distraction in your prayer. This week, this 14 days, I want to give you a word that when you go on your knees for prayer, switch off your phone. Switch off every other distraction and face your destiny and God. Because something is shifting in the realms of the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, until you take your time to seek him, you will take longer to know him. It is time for prayer. It is time for you to command your destiny into manifestation. The devil wants to scatter your life. The devil wants you kept at one place. The devil is hindering. The Bible says when they arrested James and it excited them, he arrested Peter also. May your destiny not be hijacked. Rise to your feet. Four minutes left. Rise to your feet. Lift your hands. Something is shifting in the realms of the spirit people watching me across the globe. God is shifting things in your life. God is supernaturally shifting some things. In the next 24 hours, somebody will engage the Holy Ghost in a strange way. There is somebody here. 
you will have some restlessness of the law because the Holy Ghost is going to saturate you in such a way that it will move you into a place you have never been. There is somebody here, joy is calling on your destiny. There is somebody hearing the sound of my voice. There is going to be a visitation that will set delay from your life. Lift your hands. You're here tonight and you're believing God for a strange miracle. You're believing God for a strange miracle. I want you to run to the altar right now. You're believing God for a strange miracle. I want you to be at the altar right now. Be at the altar. Close your eyes. This 14 days, you want God to do something strange in your life. Just Precious one, we hope you have been blessed. Go to our website for further information. www.cityoffaithministry.org Call our London office on plus 44-208-591-6377 plus 44-798-469-5287 www.cityoffaithministry.org Go to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, City of Faith Ministry, a church without walls.